This is shuttle launch control at T minus three hours and holding. About an hour and two minutes remaining in this hold this morning from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida inside firing room four. This has been a uh, rather dynamic evening with the delayed tanking of the external uh, fuel tank. Operations are progressing and an accelerated pace in order to uh, catch up and be ready for our planned launch this morning at 5.40 a.m. with Space Shuttle Endeavor on Launch Pad 39A. A launch at 5.40 a.m. will officially be a night launch. It will be the 33rd night launch in shuttle history, occurring about 45 minutes before sunrise. Our first night launch was STS-8 on August 30th, 1983, and the most recent night launch was STS-119 in March. Here in firing room four, managers and engineers are assembled, monitoring all the systems and monitoring the fueling of Endeavor's external tank. Once again, that operation began late due to some severe weather in the Kennedy Space Center area. So far, uh, the operation is proceeding per the timeline. We're expecting to reach LH2 topping mode at about 1.17 a.m. Eastern time. This is the point at which we saw a leak during the previous launch attempt at the ground umbilical carrier plate. STS-127 Launch Director Pete Nikolenko is overseeing operations here this morning with the uh, team here in firing room four and teams throughout the Launch Control Center. The STS-127 flight crew is up and uh, preparing to board Endeavour later this morning on a slightly different timeline than originally planned. We are uh, one hour away from picking up the count at T-minus three hours and holding. This is Shuttle Launch Control. <laughs> 